Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with my very first haul video. Um, I, not that I don't buy things, um, but typically they're thrift store, things that I get at thrift stores. Um, but in this case, this is a Tuesday morning haul, and the really hilarious or sad thing about this is that um, I have had this in the same Tuesday morning bag since March. <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad. Um, anyway, I have finally gotten around to putting things in my little cart, um, my little supply cart, and so wanted to go ahead and show you what I've gotten. And technically this is from Tuesday morning and a little bit is from our local art store. So I'll start with the things I got at the art store. They're the ones that you see these yellow clearance tags on. I got some... Versamark uh, watermark ink in champagne. It's got a little bit of a gold fleck to it. Um, mainly I just use Versamark to emboss. So anyway, I got that. And then I got this whole series of Stazon Studio glazes. And honestly, I've never heard of them. I mean, obviously I've heard of Stazon ink and I use it all the time. But as far as a studio glaze, it just sounded interesting to me, and so I'm going to give it a shot. And so I purchased different colors in it. Um, this one is kind of a brown color. This one in a gray. An orange. And these were a dollar piece. Um, this is in black. And this one is in, um, this is claret or claret. <laughs> Uh, kind of a wine, red wine color. Um, then at Tuesday morning, I got this Zing embossing powder. And it's fluorescent neon purple. And I love this color. The sweater, that color that my husband kind of hates. Um, I have this Heidi Swap um, Color Shine Spray. And that comes in three colors comes in citron, amethyst, and mustard. I love spray inks. Even though I can make them myself, I still like to get them when I can. I have Plain Jane. These are by Tattered Angels. I have, these are matte mist watercolors. This one is in... Hmm. Not sure if it gives a particular color. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, this is in Saffron. And I have this one, same company, same matte mist watercolor in light orchid. And I have two more of those. I have one in red apple. And I have one in ginger. So those will be fun to play with. I got these 49 cent uh, little page flags that are tree shaped. This little packet from Seven Paper Studio Calico for 99 cents, and they are dog related items. I'm always thinking I'll do a dog journal, um, but I have not done so yet. Um, and then I just got lots of paint. I like to experiment with different paint, and these are semi gloss. They're made by Firefly, and there are actually multiple sets of them there. Um, this one is in sort of a um, brights, and then this one was uh, neutrals, having the black, gray, mocha, sand, and white. And I like the idea that they were semi-gloss, um, and those were probably too much. It says that they're originally $14.99 and that their price is 6 bucks. That's kind of a lot, and I'll probably have to open up, you know, crack open the bottle once it starts to get low. It looks like it's a little bit of a pain to get out of these little um, thin tubes, but that it would be fun to play with. Need to start kind of stocking up on my painted papers and and then these are stencil paints by the same company and these were $1.99 and so I assume that they must have some sort of thickener in them to be able to hold up to a stencil. So there's silver, green, Oh, looks like I got two silvers, um, 
blue, so the extra silver will probably go in my uh, giveaway. Red, turquoise, and black. And again, you know, I, I've got, I could probably make my own. I have acrylic paint, and I certainly do have things that are thick enough to, you know, make a pattern when you use stencils. So I could mix the two of those mediums together. But sometimes it's nice just to get this kind of pre-mixed jar and to try out a new company. And again, these are semi-gloss, which kind of appealed to me. So anyway, that's the scoop with that. Um, I also thought I would share um, a recent, well, not so recent. Um, I went to a garage sale with my mom and um, so I thought I would share the things I got. I got this sequin waist and it's in gold and this kind of pearlescent white. And I got a bunch of fibers. I got this purple fiber. This one is green and blue and yellow. This was for a sale for Helping Hands, which is where I actually got my rescue dog. And so I felt compelled to um, purchase lots of stuff and support them. I got these pretty earrings. They're leaf shape and they're um, essentially copper and gold. I got this necklace, this turquoise necklace. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually wear it as a necklace, but I certainly did like the pendant. Uh, here's some of the more of the fiber brown fiber and here we have a kind of hard to see it that's another little pendant and then a um, pink necklace I got this necklace which um, on its own is probably kind of ugly <laughs> um, you can see it's a little Kind of a teardrop shape. I thought it might make a nice charm for an altered book. And this one, which is a snowflake pendant. And again, probably wouldn't wear it as a necklace, but might use it for a craft project. And I got... I like to use zippers, old zippers. And so I found these three in these pastel colors. And so I got those. Um, and then I'm not going to take them all out, but I thought I'd give you a quick quick peek into um, the little container that I put these in. But I got all these ribbons as well. There's a couple uh, types of lace up here. There's this uh, lace that has ribbon running through it, a measuring tape. We have some purple plastic ribbon that's kind of lacy looking. We have this lace that has rib red ribbon running through it. Some mauve suede-like ribbon. Um, these two that have roses on them. Um, this one, which is a sparkly pink. Uh, this one, which is, has kind of an ombre tie-dye-ish type look. Um, these two, which are exactly the same, just different widths. And um, I'm not sure what this is. It may be some sort of polyester. It's got all these sort of fibers running through it. But these, um, oops, <laughs> that's super fun. Um, anyway, um, a lot of these have got a lot of product on them, if you can kind of see. And so um, I thought that was a screaming deal, actually. Um, I have this lace here. This is a kind of fabric ribbon with tiny little flowers. And I got all of those things. Uh, essentially, they were going to charge me $5. And because it was for a good cause, I gave them a $10 bill. That seemed fair to me. And, you know, I probably can get this stuff at a Dollar Tree <laughs> if I wanted to. Um, and so that made me feel good that I was giving to a good cause. And then I also got these awesome ribbons and little jewelry pieces. So anyway, I just thought I would share those sort of recent add additions to my stash. And so I'm going to be back with 
two more videos, so bear with me on that, but hopefully you guys are having a good morning, and thanks for watching.